Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you the modeling of this organic model which is inspired from the reference turbine. So, let's get started. So, for the first step, you need to create a 2D shape from the front view. You can create any shape you want and then you need to offset the outer edge to the inside. You can use any amount you want and you can use any shape you want. Okay, now let's create a circuit at the origin. And uh, let's type a radius about 35 feet. Okay, I'm going to change the segment. So type 50 as enter. Okay, now select this surface and delete it. Now select this. And now let's go to the edit menu and choose copy. Now scale it down this to half side of its original value. Now let's use the rotate command. Click on origin and click now ACZ and let's rotate this to 20 degree. Okay, let's uh, move this a little bit to the inside. Now uh, let's go to the edit menu and choose space in place. Now let's use the line command and create a horizontal line along the ACZ. Now let's rotate this line to 20 degree. Okay, now let's erase some unnecessary curving line. Okay, now let's create a groove from this. Now let's use the Kabila command, select this curve and use this second tool and choose no option. Now select this outer curve and this outer curve and click on confirm. Okay, we got the surface and geometry, but I don't want the surface. I just want to create the geometry. So let's select this geometry. Okay, I don't want this. So click second. Okay, I want this. Now click on the empty space to confirm it. Click one more time. Now select this group and hide it. Now let's do the same for the inside curve. Now select this two group and right click and choose explode. Okay, now let's use the Kabilo command again. And let's create surface between this curve and click confirm and click on empty space one more time okay now let's do the same select this to curve and click on confirm and confirm it again now let me show you one more time select this outer curve and inner curve and confirm it okay now you need to do the same for all the other curve just create the surface between this curve okay So as you can see, I have created all the services that we need. I hope you got the same result. Now let's uh, hide all these services. And now let's delete this two group which contain the geometry. I'm not deleting the original curve. Let's unhide the services. Now let's use the Kabilo command one more time. Select this outer H and this outer H. And click on confirm and click on empty space one more time uh, we need to select the segment to 10 okay and let's use the Kabilo command one more time this time let's select this inside curve and select the outside curve from the adjacent surface and confirm it and use a 10 segment again okay now let's do the same Use the Kabilo command and select this inside H and select this outside curve, I mean H from the adjacent surface and confirm it. Let's reverse the surface. Okay, let me show it one more time. Let's use the same Kabilo command. Select this inside H 
and select this outside edge from the adjacent surface and confirm it. I hope you got the idea. Let's reverse the surface. Okay, if you got the idea, you need to do the same for all the surfaces. Okay, take your time to do it. So, as you can see, I have created all the surface within this curve. I hope you got the same result. Now let's hide all these groups and let's uh, unhide the original curve uh, which is these two. Okay, now let's get into this group and use a line command and create a surface from this curve. And now let's create a vertical line which is like this and place on the right edge. Now let's copy this line and press ctrl key to copy it and place it here and type 16 divide it okay now select all these line again and get into this group and now go to edit and choose space in place now let's erase some unnecessary line now select the surface Okay, let's click on this surface selection and go to edit and choose copy. Now delete this surface. Now let's create a horizontal line along the ACZ. Now let's move this line at the top of this edge. Okay, select this line again and let's move it and press Ctrl key to copy it and place it right here and type this divided okay now let's erase some unnecessary line now let's use the profile builder command to create the frame okay here you can use any setting you want and any material you want now select all these curves and click here okay as you can see we got the frame that we want now let's unhide all the groove Now let's apply glass material on this surface. Okay, now you need to create a glass wall at this end. Now one last time, get into this group and this group. And let's go to the view and choose hidden geometry. And now let's uh, select the surface at the edge. And let's use the I mean, apply the material on these services. Okay, now you need to do the same for all the other group. So take your time to do it. After that, you can create any landscape design you want. Okay, as you can see, I have applied the color on the edges of every services. I mean, every group. And I also created this end glass wall. I hope you got the same result. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.